Okay, so today I'm using Arches watercolor paper. It's uh, 300 grams and it's cold pressed. And uh, the colors that I'm using are Imperial Purple. This is from Daniel Smith. And um, Hansa Yellow Medium. Lunar Blue. New Gamboge, it's a darker yellow shade and cascade green and for the brushes I'm using a size 5 uh, from uh, Da Vinci Maestro and I'm using uh, a size 1 from the same series Hello everyone, today we are going to paint some very loose black eyed Susan. I have already very lightly sketched it on the paper and now I'm starting with, um, with some uh, just plain water. And then I'll start dropping the color here. First I am adding the hands art yellow. Then I'm adding some darker color. This is my new gamboge. So it shows uh, the color variation here. And also some shadows. Now for the middle part, I'm again starting with new gamboge. I'll add the darker color later to it. And I'm leaving some area where you can see the highlight. And now for the second flower, it's the same thing. Start with the plain clean water. Then hands are yellow color. I'm just forming the petal shapes very loosely. Adding the darker Mogan Rouge. And here you are you can use any color that you want or whatever is available with you. These are just for the reference. If you have these, then you can use them. Otherwise, you can just uh, use the color, whichever color, similar color that you have with you.
so now we'll start darkening the middle part and for that I'm adding my imperial purple so when that the purple mixes with uh, dark yellow it actually uh, looks uh, brown The petals are still a little uh, wet, so some of the color uh, will bleed through it, but then that's fine. I think that looks good. So again, go to the second one and the same process, adding some purple. Now for the stem, I'm using my size 1 brush and for the color I'm using uh, the Cascade Green which I mix with the yellow. So I mix it with, uh, with the new gamboge. Can add some leaves. Again, the same color mixture. It's uh, a cascade green and new gamboge. So now using the darker yellow shade, I'm just adding some lines to the flower to the petals. Just flicking it through. You don't have to do it in each petal wherever you know you just You can just do it in some of the petals.
just adding some dots to the middle part to show the, the fuzzy things there and then some making it a little bit darker at the bottom Just use some clean water to soften this up. Some splashes so we are basically done at this point so this is actually done so you can stop at this point or you can um, you can go ahead and uh, add some background but it could be like two different pictures one would like this you can just stop here and the next time you can add some background to it so for adding the background it's just very simple i'll just add some water Don't touch the flowers, just um, paint some uh, water, uh, like clean water around it. And at this point, the, the painting is uh, dry, so it, I mean, even if there is some water going over the flower, it won't affect it. Just do it lightly, don't drop it hard on it. So we'll put the water all around. And then we can add some color. If you see in the uh, in the picture, there are some dark and uh, light green areas behind. So we will just try to mimic that. Again, I'm using the same green that I use for the stems and leaves. It's my casket green, and it's mixed with uh, some um, Hansa yellow and at some places with new gamboge. You can just drop the color here and there and for the darker color I'm using um, lunar blue but if you have some other dark color like paints gray uh, you can use that color.
you can use as much edge or as little color that you want to add to the background and since it's uh, wet so all these colors will mix nicely into each other can splash some green some yellow also so this yellow can indicate some distance flowers So at this point, if you feel like the colors have dried up light, you can add some more color to it. Now I can remove the painter's tape. I would suggest that you wait till the picture is completely dry, your uh, painting is completely dried. I'm just doing it right now because uh, the, it was not so wet, but it's, uh, it's a good idea to wait all the way till it gets dried up. So we are all done here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed painting it. Thank you.